So today I was so lucky because I have the entire day to myself and that doesn't happen very often. We've locked down, my son is home from university and he does his online courses and my husband's normally around the place all the time but he's gone off today to play his drums and practice so that's really cool. I had the whole day to myself. But have you ever had a whole day to yourself and a list as long as your arm of things that you want to do and achieve in that time frame? And it's almost numbing. It's like I can't see the forest for the trees because I've got so much stuff to do. Well, what I've decided to do today is to employ the Pomodoro technique. What on earth is that? I hear you ask. Well, it was actually a technique that's been around for quite some time. A young student developed it and you may have seen those, you know those timers that look like pieces of fruit and veggie, like a, a kitchen timer that looks like a tomato? Well, tomato, the word for tomato in Italian is pomodoro and this particular Italian student had a pomodoro timer, a tomato shaped timer. And so he developed this technique where basically there's five steps to it. The first step is that you decide on your task that you need to achieve. The second step is that you work on that task and you set your timer for 25 minutes. On average, that's what most people do. So you work for 25 minutes and the next step is you put a check mark on your page to say that you've worked for 25 minutes. If you've got less than four check marks on a page, that means you can take a three to five minute break. And it might be just to breathe, use your breathing app on your Apple Watch, or it might be that you meditate, or you might go and read something, or even flick to your social media. Go for a short walk. Then you start again. So you set your timer for 25 minutes. You work for 25 minutes. Put another check mark on the page. Take another short break. When you've got four check marks or more on your page, what well, four is what you're aiming for, then you take a 15 to 30 minute break. So that might be a nice walk around the block or it might be stop and read a novel. It might be stop and have a cup of tea and a chat on the phone with your mum or whatever, whatever you like to do. And then after you've done the four check marks and the long break, you reset your check mark count again. So you start back at number one, setting a new task and going through it. So that's what I've been doing today. There's actually a lot of apps in the app store that you can download that can help you do this, either on your computer or on your iPhone or any phone. And this will help you to stay focused on your task. And by the end of the day, I aim to have a whole heap of things checked off my list and a fair bit of break time for myself, indulging myself in reading some literature, doing some research online, working on my blog post, cooking meals for the family and also cooking a meal for a person, a neighbour that is having chemo at the moment and all of those things and I'm even going to be interviewed on a, a Zoom call at two o'clock and I want to talk to my mum on the phone and 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 you know there's lots and lots of things, oh, no, I need to do some gardening, I need to feed the worms and so it goes on and it can become quite overwhelming but I encourage you to try the Pomodoro technique because I think that it's a really good way of staying focused and achieving lots of your goals while still having a bit of time for yourself.